Here come the baby girls. And they're racing Wednesday at Canterbury Park. Dashing Darling did anything but dash out of the gate. Started in last. Pepper and Mint Spicy. Between them, Diablos Canyon outside of that. Where's Maryland four wide? Wildcat Mini. And they dispute the early lead. After that, competitive nature drifting badly to the center of the track. Dashing Darling far back in last. Pepper and Mint battles it out with Diablos Canyon. And right behind them, where Bears, Maryland, Wildcat Mini in the thick of it, getting the worst of it around the turn. After that competitive nature, uh, running on Gamely uh, in the center of the track, about 10 lengths out of it. Then it's Dashing Darling. Up goes Diablos Canyon. And Diablos Canyon kicks clear by three. Wildcat Mini rolls into second from Where's Maryland. Then it's competitive nature with an adventurous journey. But nobody's beating Diablos Canyon, who prevails. The right stuff is in turf time. You're up. They're racing. Perfect start. Drama chorus looks to create a little drama in the wagering pools at eight to one, grabbing the lead early. And with one lap to go, it's drama chorus from Golden Bandit. And they're two and a half lengths clear from Kennebec. Then we come to Tonka Warrior, about five lengths out of it. And the Brit, the right stuff, lags along six lengths from a lukewarm to tepid early pace. The right stuff just uh, nearly clipped off the heels of Tonka Warrior, had to shift to the outside. Up the barn side they go, race two, Wednesday, Canterbury Park. Park. Drama Chorus continuing to call the shots. Golden Bandit right alongside, each trying to extend winning streaks. The next pair, Kennebec trying to win four in a row from five out of it. And to the inside of Tonka Warrior, the right stuff is now nine lengths from the lead. And the lead still belongs to Drama Chorus, but it's just an inch, and there goes Golden Bandit. Golden Bandit is cutting on Drama Chorus and doing so stylishly, and in fact opens up by a half. Drama Chorus fights back. Tonka Warrior three wide. Kennebec's behind them. The right stuff at 35 to 1 is running on okay, but still seven lengths out of it, and they're charging home. It's Golden Bandit Tonka Warrior outside of him. Then we come to Drama Chorus and Kennebec. Up goes Tonka Warrior at three to one and there goes Tonka Warrior. The Warrior came out to play. And they're racing. River Ransom is looking to flow right to the winner's circle. Martini Man debuts with speed and is looking to get up in there on the inside and just had to check a smidge as River Ransom now runs away by three. After that, King of the Palace, that rider's looking for three. The man, the myth is wide, five out of it, and behind that is Icon Do It. They're covered by six off the far turn, race six, CBY, and King of the Palace make that River Ransom is solo alone in front. It's River Ransom still tightly held by the leading man drifting a bit out and in fact Martini Man looking to take advantage outside of that King of the Palace between them Icon Do It is running nicely shifting to the inside. Up goes Martini Man and King of the Palace is looking to rule over race six and looking good. They're all chasing the king and his palace is the winner circle. They're all set. They're off. Kick it again, Bob. Made a little bit of contact with just Oki at the start. Dr. Tink on the far outside is racing quickly to the front, crossing over in command from Kick It Again, Bob, and he's all ears, second and third. Dropping back is Just Oki, and La Bataille is taking a stronghold to the back. In fact, La Bataille is being pulled up. Number one, La Bataille appears to be pulled up here going to the first turn. 
The other four carry on past the half-mile pole. On the lead is Dr. Tank now, just by three parts of a length. Kick it again, Bob. is racing a close-up second. Then it's He's All Ears, two and a half lengths off the leader. Just Oki in the blue is fourth and four lengths off for the lead. And La Bataya was pulled up on the clubhouse turn. Heading on for the final quarter. On the lead is Dr. Tink, but the lead is diminishing. As Kick It Again Bob is chipping away. Two and a half back to He's All Ears, now pushed in third. And Just Oki is full out to make an impression. They're coming around the final turn, getting serious now. On the lead is still Dr. Tink. It's Dr. Tink in front. He holds this lead stubbornly. In second is Kick It Again Bob by five. He's All Ears just can't run with him. And back and forth is Just Oki at the top of the stretch. And Dr. Tink going on. He gets that consistency rewarded tonight and Dr. Tink breaks through with a win. Kick it again Bob was second. Photo for show just Oki and he's all ears. Ball set. They're off. Side Town comes out with a rest from the outside gate. Mr. Wayside's got opposing speed. These two fast for the turn from Hacker getting back in third. Fly to the bank and Brainstorm now getting up in fourth, just behind, three and a half lengths off the leaders, and so Fly to the bank is the early trailer. They take the clubhouse turn, and Side Town is extremely sharp. Takes the turn, getting to the inside, now clearing by a length and a half to Mr. Wayside. Brainstorm, two lengths back, is racing in third. Then it's Hacker, losing ground early in the race. He's now joined by Fly to the bank. They're at the rear, four lengths off for the leader. They go for the turn. The lead is held by Side Town. He still shows the way. Mr. Wayside's got a good chance in second. He's coming closer. Fly to the bank is now picking it up in third. He's gone by Brainstorm, and Hacker is fifth and last. He's just not on the ball tonight as they come for the final furlong up on the lead Mr. Wayside he's now taken over from side down and Mr. Wayside's going on here comes fly to the bank now chasing after him a uh, 16th left to go Mr. Wayside fly to the bank fly to the bank is getting to him Mr. Wayside trying to hold it is fly to the bank and Mr. Wayside in a dramatic finish side town was third All set. They're off. Dakota Marvin got a sharp start with Superhero down inside, now taking the lead. Taking Energy is third. Raging Thunder's got some speed between horses. They're getting by Christian Street, who's steadying at the rail. Prince Pierre is off heels at the back of the pack, also had to steady. On the extreme outside, Diamonds are lucky with six wide, but is now rushing up in the middle of the pack. They run past the half-mile pole, and Dakota Marvin leads. Big move from Diamonds are lucky, wide but running, is coming on now second to press the pace for the back stretch. In third is Taking Energy, back to fourth is Superhero at the rail. They've gone clear from the others. Christian Street, Prince Pierre, and Raging Thunder is now the trailer. They're racing on for the quarter pole. On the lead is Dakota Marvin, taken on by Diamonds Are Lucky. They're clear by two to Superhero coming on in third. Taking Energy is fourth, and the rest are far back. They're coming for the final furlong. Dakota Marvin is finding more on the lead. Diamonds Are Lucky is now weakening. Superhero is down inside, and they have to punch it in, though, and Taking Energy has got two and a half to make up. They're off for the turn, and it's Dakota Marvin. Dakota Marvin racing clear. Superhero is coming too late. It's Dakota Marvin and Roman Cruz to get a second winner tonight. Superhero was second best. Diamonds are lucky third, then taking energy. One more. Evan Roman with nine pointer. It's the second on a windy day here at Horseshoe Indianapolis. They're in the gate. And they're off. Molly's Little Lou, Bigly Huge, Andale Andale Nine Pointer, and Governor Ron as they make their way toward the first turn with Sammy Bermudez. Molly's Little Lou to the early lead with just over seven furlongs to run. Bigly Huge, blue with the orange sleeves, chases the pace there for Hannah Leahy with Alberto Burgos. Andale Andale is up into third as they go to the back of the track. The leader here is Molly's Little Lou at the six and a half. With Evan Roman, Nine Pointer, running second to last, and with James Graham, Governor Ron trails the leader, Molly's Little Lou. Molly's Little Lou establishes a six-length advantage for the run to the half-mile pole from Bigly Huge, who's running second by three and a half. Andale, Andale running in third, a length and a half to nine-pointer, and still four lengths away to Governor Ron, who's two trails the maiden quintet. The opening quarter for Molly's Little Lou, 23.62. Now at the half-mile pole, Molly's Little Lou continues to hold on to this lead from Bigly Huge. Andale, Andale remains in third. 
Nine pointer and Governor Ron tries to take closer order. Half mile 48. Point 35 seconds. They round the far turn, aiming for Molly's Little Lou, who's joined toward the inside by Bigly Huge. Andale Andale is drawing in on the outside, but Molly's Little Lou finds that extra gear for Samir Bermudez coming toward the quarter pole as Governor Ron in the purple silks starts a bid for James Graham outside of Andale Andale. Molly's Little Lou leads her home. And then farther back to nine pointer. It's Molly's Little Lou after three quarters. In one minute 14.96 seconds, Molly's Little Lou as Governor Ron exchanges bumps there with Andale Andale. Molly's Little Lou clings on deep in the final for long. Bigly Huge is fourth with Samir Bermudez. Molly's Little Lou keeping on near home. Molly's Little Lou. Molly's Little Lou by two. Andale Andale was second. Governor Ron finished third. They're in the game. They're off. Dynamis broke sharp. Amra Bouchard in the green silks with Hobby Cat. Tracking them as they make this run into the first turn, Glenbrook Jerry with Chalice and Kalahari King has drifted back to last year in the very early stages with just inside seven furlongs to run with Alberto Burgos. Dynamis has the pace to lead the race from a close-up. Admiral Bouchard with Glenbrook Jerry in the black cap. Hobby Cat toward the rail. As they make this backstretch run now, then Chalice second to last, and finally Kalahari King. The first two of eight furlongs for Dynamis. Clocked 23.94 seconds. Dynamis leads the maiden mile. Dynamis in front, leads here. Admiral Bouchard, who's staying near for Fernando Leta Cruz as Adam Biscitza. Comes up on the outside with Glenbrook Jerry looking to draw in as they move past the half-mile pole. Then toward the inside for Evan Roman. Hobie Cat is running in fourth. Marcelino Pedroza Jr. Shellis is second to last. And with Orlando Mejica, Kalahari King remains a distant trailer. It's still Dynamis. Half-mile 48.23 seconds just inside three to go with Dynamis still to track down as Glenbrook Jerry looks to launch this bit outside of Admiral Bouchard. It's Dynamis who hits the quarter pole in front. Shellis on the far outside. Hobie Cat and far back to Kalahari King. Dynamis spins them in. It's Dynamis who leads for home after three quarters in 1 minute 13.05 seconds with Alberto Burgos. Dynamis leads here by three into the final furlong from Glenbrook Jerry, who's in full stretch to track Dynamis down. Then comes Shellis into the inside. Hobie Cat, the son of Gunrunner. It's Dynamis, and Dynamis has raced away. Beats Glenbrook Jerry home by six. Shellis third, and Hobie Cat finished fourth. Over the mile 16th on a fast track. All in. They're off. Heavenly Rich strides away. It's Rever, sensible choice in the orange silks and spotty showers as the four fillies line up for the run to the first turn. Spotty showers, green with the white diamond belt. It's Rever, Heavenly Rich and sensible choice. An early battle here for position and to get the top. At the six and a half, it's Spotty Showers. So Spotty Showers for Manny Esquivel is just ahead. Heavenly Rich with the rail for Joseph Belmer. As they go to the back of the track together, Marcelino Pedroza Jr. with It's Rever and toward the rail for Evan Roman, Sensible Choice. Spotty Showers, Heavenly Rich, It's Rever, and Sensible Choice, the Phillies Quartet. The opening quarter covered in 23.69 seconds, and they have just over a half mile to go. Still a short lead for Spotty Showers and Heavenly Rich, their matching strides. It's Rever and Sensible Choice are right together, the two couples. Heavenly Rich has taken the lead from the inside, now leads Spotty Showers by three quarters of length. It's Rever draws to within two from the top, and toward the inside, Sensible Choice last to four. Heavenly Rich, Spotty Showers, It's Forever, Sensible Choice, Half Mile, 48.01 seconds as they come toward the quarter pole. With Joseph Bummer, Heavenly Rich leads here at 10 to 1 as a length and a half to hold on It's Forever, who's drawing in now at 3 to 5. It's Forever up to Heavenly Rich as they turn for home. Five lengths away to Sensible Choice and Spotty Showers has tailed off. Three quarters, 1 minute 12.80 seconds with Joseph Bummer. Heavenly Rich is a furlong away, and at this point, well, the apprentice dropped the crop, but It's Forever is still five lengths in back of Heavenly Rich, who will be hand-ridden to the line. Ten to one on Heavenly Rich, upsets It's Forever and Sensible Choice.
They're in the gate. And the rough. There's Cadillac Justice. Looking good, Lewis, and star review from those inside gates. And Go Forever is also forward as they make their way toward the first turn with Sam Bermudez. Looking good, Lewis, to the early lead with seven furlongs to run. Star review is close up. Cadillac Justice is a wide third with Theo's Promise and Go Forever in the leading quintet. And then comes on the outside inclined to the purple blinkers at the six and a half and about seven from the lead. We're racing three clear from... Captain's best toward the inside as they go to the back of the track with on the outside Mystery Impact, then Cowboy Image, and to the trailer, that's life. The opening quarter in 23.92 seconds for the run to the half-mile pole, looking good, Lewis, narrowly. As Star Review is alongside for Alberto Burgos, and they're going head-to-head -head with Cadillac Justice perched just off them third. Go Forever is making steady headway from fourth with in between horses, inclined in fifth. On the outside, Mystery Impact is a wide sixth. Cowboy Image in seventh. Theo's Promise is eighth. Then comes Captain's Best and finally Dat's Life. Half mile, 48.36 seconds with just over three furlongs to go. They're still aiming for Looking Good Lewis. Looking Good Lewis continues to lead. Cadillac Justice, who is now second. And Star Review, Vibe has dropped back. Cowboy Image is on the move. Go Forever toward the inside as they come past the quarter pole. Looking Good Lewis, right there is Cadillac Justice. And Cowboy Image is sweeping into it. Go Forever toward the inside, spying a gap. They're homeward bound after three quarters and one minute, 13.24 seconds. And Dat's Life is picking up a full head of steam on the far outside. Here comes Dat's Life, who was last on the back of the track. It's Cadillac Justice narrowly with Star Review, who's in tight quarters between horses. Star Review had a take toward the inside. It's Dat's Life and Deshaun Parker. Dat's Life, Dat's Life, and right there, Cadillac Justice. That is a tight photo finish. Go Forever and Star Review. Dat's Life, Cadillac Justice, the eye of a needle between them. Off and racing. Good start for this field of nine on the inside. Philly's finest broke alertly. Also with some speed in between horses. Mexican Sugar, Peach Tea, Land of Hope and Dreams. And on the outside, Toodaloo Kangaroo. Everyone wants a piece early. And it's going to be Peach Tea, who's emerging with the lead, flanked to the outside, going a bit wide. Toodaloo Kangaroo, Land of Hope and Dreams. She's settling into third after that alert beginning. Philly's finest. She's in fourth, now fifth. It's going to be Mexican Sugar, who's taken that fourth position. Then back to My Blessing, Napolitan the Gray, followed by Keep It Sweet and the early trailer, Colby's Candle. 25-3 and three for the opening quarter as they make their way down the backstretch. On the inside, Peach Tea on the outside, Toodaloo Kangaroo. Mexican Sugar is now in third to her inside, Land of Hope and Dreams. Then it's Philly's Finest to her outside. It's going to be moving up a spot there. It's Peach Tea on the lead. It's Peach Tea on the lead along with Tootaloo Kangaroo who sticks her neck in front. Peach Tea's in second. Then it's Mexican Sugar, Land of Hope and Dreams. My blessing. She's now up to fourth. Followed by Philly's finest. Keep it sweet, Napolitan. And at the back, Colby's Candle. 50 and 1 for the opening half. They make their way into the far turn. Tootaloo Kangaroo doing all of the heavy lifting all the while. Mexican Sugar gaining. She's in third. Peach Tea's hanging tough in on the rail. They go around the far turn. There's less than a quarter mile left to go. And Tootaloo Kangaroo, she has the lead on the outside mexican sugar running a big race my blessing has some momentum down the center of the track philly's finest needs to do a bit better it is two to Lou kangaroo my blessing with a final bid it's mexican sugar trying to confront her on the outside now philly's finest getting in gear my blessing anyone's race at this point my blessing a late bid from philly's finest and my blessing gets the win philly's finest second followed by mexican sugar and two to Lou kangaroo fourth final time 135 flat hold all tickets until race six is official Off and racing. Sharp start for Gaja Ray. Chit Chat Chubb also broke alertly and she's going up to get involved early. First time starter. Take the money, honey. She's eager to get to the lead as well. And on the inside, oops, ha ha. She's going to be forwardly placed. Take the money, honey. And oops, ha ha. The two first time starters, they're hooking up early. On the outside, Gaja Ray. She's in third in the white blinkers, followed by Chit Chat Chubb. 
then it's beautiful crazy girl she's fifth twisted empress sweet distraction then back to wine and roses to the outside racy ruby she's the early trailer 22 and one for the opening quarter they head down the back stretch on the inside oops ha ha on the outside take the money honey these two debut runners running very professionally in their debut and it's take the money honey who sticks her neck in front she has now a length opening up on oops ha ha who has no response she's in second they go around the far turn and take the money honey she's opening up oops ha ha moving up to third beautiful crazy girl then in on the rail twisted empress getting in gear from mid pack sweet distractions trying to pick up some pieces as well gaja ray she's dropping back 45 flat for the half but they're all trying to catch take the money honey the first time starter running a very big race in her first start she hits the top of the stretch in command ruben silvera asks her for a little bit more and she is keen to respond oops haha -ha, running a big race down the center of the track beautiful crazy girl but they're all trying to reel in take the money honey take the money honey has a 16th left to go and take the money honey cashing in in a canner smashing debut for her followed by beautiful crazy girl oops haha -ha, and wine and roses fourth final time 125 and one hold all tickets until race seven is official Off and racing, bit of an awkward beginning for Queen Cadence. In between horses, Aruma has some speed. Renee's six, quickest of all, and to her inside, Cuz I said, up to press the pace. Renee's six. She has half a length over Cuz I said. Aruma's a length back off in third. Then it's E.T.'s Moon Maiden in the white blinkers, fourth, flanked to the outside by our uptown girl. And after that awkward beginning, Queen Cadence is the early trailer, but she's just five or six off the front running. Cuz I said, who's taking the lead, but Renee's six, up to snatch it back. A battle on the front end. Renee's six, Cuz I said. Aruma right to the outside, 22 and 1 for the opening quarter. They make their way into the far turn. Cuz I said, game on the lead. Renee's six. She's now back to second, and it's Aruma. Our uptown girl, she's in fourth and beginning to gain. ET's Moon Maiden and Queen Cadence getting in gear from the back. They go around the far turn. There's a quarter mile left to go, and Cuz I said has shaken off Renee's six. Now she has to brace for any challengers. They make their way around the turn. Cuz I said, Renee's six, game to the outside, 45 and 1 for the half. It's Cuz I said down the center of the track. Our uptown girl, Queen Cadence, getting in gear late. Cuz I said with the lead. It's Renee's six and second. 16th left to go. Cuz I said has put them all away. And Cuz I said going to stroll home to victory. Photo for second between Renee's six, ET's Moon Maiden, then our uptown girl. Final time, 112 flat. Hold all tickets until race eight is official. Off and racing, perfect start for this field of seven. On the outside, Bella Queen has some speed in between horses. Kiss me, Hardy. In on the rail, Lamasco, boss like that, joining the mix. But Bella Queen, she is up to take the lead. Kiss me, Hardy, settling for a second. On the outside, boss like that. Then it's Lamasco, flanked by Black Eyes. She's right in between horses in fifth. In on the rail, Peach Perfect in the blue blinkers. And the early trailer is Girl from Outer Space. And the lightly raced Bella Queen has about a length and a half, almost two lengths over Kiss Me Hardy. Moving up on the outside, Boss Like Beth. In between horses in pretty tight is Lamasco. Then it's Black Ice. She's still fifth, but she's in the clear. Peach Perfect and at the back. Seventh is Girl from Outer Space. 23 and four for the opening quarter. And Bella Queen continues to lead the way. Kiss Me Hardy. Just Three quarters of a length off. She's now in second. Then it's Boss Like Beth, Black Ice on the, her inside. Lamasco, Peach Perfect, and still at the back, Girl from Outer Space. And Bella Queen continues to lead them. She has a half mile left to go to her outside. Kiss Me Hardy continues to chase in second. Lamasco is now a clear third to her outside. Black Ice moving backwards. Boss Like Beth, Peach Perfect. She's still sixth. And at the back, Girl from Outer Space. 47 and four for the half. The order remains largely unchanged. And Bella Queen with that big blaze, she continues to lead the way. Still under a fairly tight hold under Andrew Wolfson to her outside. Kiss Me Hardy moving up to challenge a little bit more. On the outside, Black Ice is in third to her inside. Lamasco, they go around the far turn. And Bella Queen, Kiss Me Hardy can't quite get to her just yet. Bella Queen all out on the lead. Kiss Me Hardy chasing gamely in second. Bella Queen pins her ears. Kiss Me Hardy has some momentum. She comes up to challenge those two noses apart. And Kiss Me Hardy now goes on by with a 16th left to go. Kiss Me Hardy is now put away. Bella Queen and opening up. Kiss Me Hardy gets the win. Bella Queen second. Then it's Black Ice. Peach Perfect fourth. Final time 144 and four. Hold all tickets until race nine is official.
and they're off. For the lead down along the inside, Opie's girl jets out for the lead, opens up a length and a half. Artistic Laney comfortably placed in second in the green cap. Two lengths back to Lacey Queen. And Lacey Queen high up in the saddle. Another two lengths back to Concord's Difference. Another six back, and we find late date. As they make their way down the back stretch. And loose on the lead is Opie's Girl showing the way. Opening quarter 22 and 4. Getting closer with every single stride. Artistic Laney in a green cap is poised to bounce on the outside. Eight lengths back. Come back to Lacey Queen. Then on the inside, another four back to Concord's Difference as they round the far turn. And still in the lead is Opie's Girl. Perry Utes for Larry Smith. Now on top by a length and a half. Artistic Laney's angling out for clear sailing as they pass the quarter pole and set down for the stretch drive. Opie's Girl closest to the rail of the red cap. Outside. Artistic Laney's coming with leaps and bounds under a full head of steam. But Opie's girl Newt's on the inside. Goes to the right end of stick. Outside, Artistic Laney gets, keeps on coming. Artistic Laney just keeps rolling. But it's Opie's girl with lead. Outside, Artistic Laney. One final try. It's going to be photo finish. They're in the gate. And they're off. Flying Emperor from the outside. Draw for the lead. Ladies, Golden Guy up the inside to challenge. These two already have a length and a half, too. On Don't Lose Cruise, who just moved into third. Past Civil Service. The trailer at the back is the Institute. Up front, the favorite. Flying Emperor, a very short lead over... Ladies, Golden Guy, who rushes up inside. These two speed off four in front now of Don't Lose Cruise through an opening quarter of 23 flat. At the back, the duo of the Institute, who is just inside of civil service. The field is midway on the far turn. Ladies, Golden Guy, and Flying Emperor have been going at it from the start pretty much. Don't Lose Cruise gets closer in third. Then the Institute, and nothing yet from civil service. They went the half in 46 and 1. The ladies, Golden Guy, Flying Emperor drifts out. Here comes the Don't Lose Cruise with a full head of steam. And the Institute follows him. Ladies, Golden Guy just gave up the lead to Don't Lose Cruise. The Institute bears down at him. The Don't Lose Cruise is almost home. Here's the Institute. Don't Lose Cruise. The Institute. The Institute goes by. And the Institute takes the third by a length. Then it was Don't Lose Cruise. Civil Service was up for third. Ladies Golden Guy fourth. Six furlongs in 111 and 2. There. Fairy Dreams broke well. Dweller speeds up far outside, then Warrior's Defense. Dweller toward the inside puts a head in front. Fairy Dreams is second. Warrior's Defense races third, the far outside. For crying out louds in between, horses then comes Dakota Springs. Length and a half then to Lady Ahava. About three and a half, four lengths to Wild Girl Trailing. They race to the turn here, 22 and four for the opening quarter. And Dweller holds it by three parts of a length. Fairy Dreams is second. Warrior's Defense on the move, third, the far outside. For crying out louds, racing fourth. Then comes Lady Ahava, Dakota Springs back second last. Nothing yet here from Wild Girl. They head to the top of the stretch. It's Dweller on top about a length and a half now. Trying to move up the outside, Warriors Defense, Fairy Dreams, and then for crying out loud from the rail, they come to the eighth pole. Dweller the one to catch, the lead's two, two and a half. For crying out loud, now second with Fairy Dreams and Warriors Defense. There's 70 yards to go, it's Dweller, a wire-to-wire -wire winner. For crying out loud with second, Fairy Dreams third, Warriors Defense checked in fourth. Heavily favored turning page is ready. Locked up. And they're off. Turning page is with a good start. Tazio on the rail had some early go, and it's Tazio who takes the early lead. It's good to be seen as out racing a close third. Matthews Patriot right there fourth. Overload. Already seven lengths off. So it's Tazio. It's good to be seen and turning pages. Three in a battle up front. Matthews Patriot right behind the leading trio sitting in fourth. 
An overload is off the pace in fifth. Tadzio, it's good to be seen. One, two, turning pages. Perched confidently out there, three deep third. Once again, nearly three across the track with three furlongs to go. They hit the far turn. Short lead for it's good to be seen. But here is turning pages. Turning pages claims the lead. Tadzio is third. He's on the rail. A gap back to Matthews Patriot and overload. So turning pages, it's good to be seen in battle. Tadzio is now two and a half off that top pair. Matthews Patriot is next. Overload is closing in. Turning pages can't get rid of. It's good to be seen. These two still in battle in the final furlong. Turning pages outside. It's good to be seen as game along the inside. And Overload continues to gain ground, but now Turning Pages gets away from It's Good to Be Seen. Turning Pages. It's good to be seen second. Overload was third, and Tadzio ran fourth. 